got more issues than that. She's tore her oil line off right there. And that's a big problem for Natalie Decker making her first truck series start here at Daytona. Teammates Todd Gilliland and Harrison Burton involved in that incident. There's Burton on pit road. Gilliland didn't make it back. Trying to get a little run going. 18 goes to the outside. A little bit of a bump from Gill, and it just, just caught him at the wrong place. These bumpers don't match up all that well. A lot of times just caught him at the wrong place and turned him sideways into the wall. Nice evasive driving here. Watch Matt Crafton as it all goes wrong to his outside. There's the bump. Nice and easy. Keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. Three wide bottom, three wide bottom, three wide bottom. Three wide bottom. Middle. Did you see how aware Crafton was of everything that was going on around him? As soon as, he, as soon as he saw that go bad, to the apron he goes. And watch the job that David Gillen does. Those trucks are crashing There's right in no front of the... There's no way he misses that. Right in front of that blue truck with Valvoline on the hood. He's able to sneak through. A little bit of damage there to that right front of David Gillen. Crash. The 49 of Cicerelli involved in that. The 47 of Fontaine. Looks like the 0-2 of Tyler yeah. Dipple isn't in there as well. Tyler's had some issues. He was already four laps down. Turn three, and there's the damage. A lot of damage to Chris Fontaine's Toyota. Looks like Cicerelli's going to be able to drive away if he doesn't get stuck in the mud. Looks like his splitter is gone on that truck, though. We always talk about Fontaine being a... A racer that can get to the front in these super speedway races, but that truck's a done. Okay. Top of the screen, you see the yellow truck on the right started to go sideways ahead of him. Looks like Cicerelli not, oh, look at that wow. damage. And then just nowhere for Chris Fontaine and that blue and yellow 47 truck to go. You could see the fire come out of the exhaust. He was off the gas for sure, but just couldn't get stopped in time. So the 02 of Dipple, the 47 of Fontaine, and the 49 of Cicerelli. And here's another look at it. Oh, it looks like. Let's take a look here. The two of Creed right there in the middle. And it looked like, like Jordan Anderson had some sort of an issue and slowed, it looked like. Well, you and know, then Creed ran in the back of him. Not sure Sheldon Creed had anywhere to go. No, I don't think so either. Yeah, Jordan, Jordan looks. I don't. Looked like the left front tire looked a little funny on that truck. Possibly maybe a left front tire going down. You know, Phil, he was running, Jordan was, in the fifth position when they entered turn one and two. We were on board the truck behind him, and there were sparks coming from behind the truck. I think maybe Jordan felt something was going wrong and pulled up. I don't know. Maybe trying to get out of the way. Moffitt, Sauter, Snyder, Gus Dean. Jordan Anderson, of course, Sheldon Creed, Grant Enfinger, Stuart Friesen, Austin Wayne Self, Brennan Poole, Christian Eckes, all with varying degrees of damage. I just don't think Jordan realized that the two of Creed was inside of him as much as he was, came down a bit. Angela Ruck's just doing a great job really running is. up inside the top five. We're gonna hop on board with her and watch all this materialize. There's Jordan when he went up. She filled that hole and then looked behind her. Yeah. And Dean is going to take out Rhodes. And Crafton gets through again somehow. And so many more involved in this incident. What about Matt Crafton's move? Look at that truck. Look at the damage on those other two trucks right beside. Austin Hill was able to do a great job. Got down on the apron and got through that. The track record 10th caution of the night and Sheldon Creed this time is going to be finished Michael, for the night. You, you were right, Michael. There wasn't three or four laps to go. No, it, there just wasn't any way. These guys know what's what's the reward is, a, a victory at Daytona. And they just push and shove so aggressively. There's just no way you can make it when you drive like that. Let's see what happened. There was a move here by Austin Hill to get to the bottom. Rhodes blocked it and that just stocked them up behind, Phil. Yep. You could see Shelton Green did a perfect job. He was on the outside of Dean. Dean blocked. And look at Crafton in the yellow truck, sneaking mm -hmm. by all that on the high side. How did he avoid the sliding up to the wall 17 of David Gillen? 
That block right there that Dean threw on Creed started it. It was just too late. Just got him a little bit loose there. Caught the 99 of Ben Rhodes. Watch, watch the 17. Barely avoids hitting the 88. Coming around to take the white flag. The next flag will end it. Caution or checkers, whichever it is, will end the race. And Austin Hill is your leader. Through turn one, Grant Infinger in second. Ross Chastain third. Spencer Boyd fourth. Crafton has fallen off a bit in fifth, but going to try to make one last run. A couple of real experienced drivers right now in second, third, and Infinger and Chastain. When do they make the move? Headed towards turn three. Crafton's rebounded. He goes high. Infinger taking a peek. Hill holding him back through turn four. Coming to the trioval. Austin Hill holding off Grant Infinger. Austin Hill in the 16 will win his first career race, and he does it at Daytona. That was impressive. Wow, he blocked every move, Vince.